So the top 10 families in all of lacrosse, starting with our honorable mentions, the Pinnell family. The Pinnell brothers, Rob and James, both had very successful careers in college lacrosse. Rob, who graduated from Cornell in 2013, had one of the best seasons in college lacrosse history as a senior. He won the Chorton Award and put up 102 points en route to a championship weekend appearance. Rob has since then become one of the best pro lacrosse players of all time. He still has a good amount left in the take, and his legacy will only get better from here. As for James, the younger brother, his professional career was not as long as Rob's, but he still had a pretty successful career playing on the Atlanta Blaze, PLL Atlas, and even playing on the same attack line as Rob with the New York Lizards. At Virginia, James performed very well on a loaded Virginia team that included the likes of Zed Williams and Joe French on his attack line. Overall, the Pinnell brothers are phenomenal lacrosse players, but they just missed out on making this top 10. And at number 10, we have the Petromala family, headlined by legendary defenseman and one of the greatest lacrosse players of all time, Dave Petromala. At Johns Hopkins, Petromala was the best defenseman in the nation and became an icon in the lacrosse world. He went on to coach at his alma mater in 1995 as the defensive coordinator before taking over at Cornell from 1998 until 2001. It was then when he got the head coaching job at Johns Hopkins where he took the team to four national championship appearances and winning two. After a legendary career as the hop head coach, he left 2020 before accepting the defensive coordinator job at Syracuse. Dave's kids, Dom and Nick, are both playing at UNC and look to be future stars in the college level. With their dad already a living legend, great careers from Dom and Nick could definitely move them up on this list. And coming in next at number nine, we have the Spolina family, led by number one overall class of 2022 recruit, Joey, and also his dad, Joe. Joey is an electric attackman that has great vision, but he's also an incredible scorer. He throws BTBs with ease and will wear the story number 22 at Syracuse. His dad, Joe, is the head coach of the New York Lizards and current head coach of the Stony Brook women's lacrosse team. On the Lizards, Joe coaches brother, Brian, who is one of the most notorious defenders of all time. Joe's other sons, Jake and Brett, will follow their older brother to Q's next fall, and will hope to assist in bringing back the orange to greatness. And I would be foolish if I didn't mention the youngest Spelina, Alexa. Right now, this family sits at ninth, but with Joey, Jake, and Brett yet to play their college lacrosse, they could definitely move up on this list. Also, if you're a lacrosse fan like me, you know the sport doesn't get the media coverage it deserves. So if you like what I'm doing, please take the time to subscribe and share this video with one friend. And together, we can put lacrosse on the map. Now at number eight, we have the Curse family. Dad Kyle Curse was a Rutgers goalie from 1988 to 1990. And it's safe to say that the lacrosse genes flow through the blood of Kyle's five sons. Had spent time at Villanova and Rutgers before entering the pros. He's a big and physical dodger that's a tough cover for almost every defenseman. Colin, now on the Cannons, also spent time at Rutgers and played at Lehigh prior. In the Cannons' final game of the season, Colin got his first start in the net, making nine saves in a tough loss. CJ, a Cornell attackman, had led his team to the national championship last year while tallying 79 points as a sophomore. Cole, another Lehigh Mountain Hawk, has had a solid past few seasons and now will be spending his grad year at Syracuse in 2023. Caden, the youngest Curse, also looks to one day make a splash in college lacrosse as a class of 2024 goalie. The Curse family has loads of lacrosse talent, and much like the Spolinas, they have tons of time to become one of the most iconic families in all of lacrosse. Then coming at number seven, we have the Millen household of dad Mark, mom Aaron, and sons Brendan and McCabe. Mark, one of lacrosse's all-time greats, had a phenomenal career at UMass before becoming one of professional lacrosse's first superstar attackmen. His oldest son McCabe has shown lots of flashes of his greatness as a great dodger and good footwork with absurd vision. Brendan, the younger brother, has shown those flashes, helping his McDonough team win the MIAA championship this spring. But don't forget about Aaron Brown Millen, however. Let's just say lacrosse genes aren't just from Mark. She played at the University of Maryland and was a 1990 All-American and went on to win two world championships with Team USA. There's a lot of Hall of Fame level greatness in the Millen family, and both McCabe and Brendan look to continue their success. Next up at number six, we have the Kavanaugh brothers, Matt, Brendan, Pat, and Chris. The latter two attend Notre Dame right now and are one of the most dynamic attack tandems in the country. Pat has been a multiple time All-American and was even a Chorton finalist in 2021. Chris is a little less proven having one year under his belt, but he looks like a future star starting in 12 games alongside Pat while racking up 33 points. Brendan, a Hofstra alum, got his rise to fame in the lacrosse world as a Denver outlaw in 2019. Since then, he's been on and off the Chrome Reserve roster. As for Matt Kavanaugh, he had a legendary career at Notre Dame, playing on the great 2015 with Sergio Perkovic as a scrappy goal scorer. Matt has been a baller in the pros for the Redwoods and Outlaws, bearing tons of goals as an effective lefty dodger. An emergence from Chris and Pat this year, and Matt's continued success in the pros, could definitely raise their rank on this list. But as for now, I like him right here. Coming at number five is the Bernholz. Jared won the Torton as a senior at the University of Maryland in 2021, where he took the country by storm as an unstoppable dodger, scorer, and feeder. Jared is definitely one of the best all-around athletes to ever play the sport, showed by his success on the gridiron. Older brothers Jake and Jesse each had their own 
unique great careers in College Park. Jake was a lockdown D midi and was also a solid scorer, racking up 63 points in his college career. He's been vital to the whip success in the PLL and was part of the 2017 MLL championship winning Ohio machine. Jesse was equally as successful as one of the nation's top defensemen before transitioning to the professional game. In the pros, Jesse has become one of the best LSMs in the game and was a leader for the vastly improved Chrome this year. The Bernhards are definitely one of the best families in lacrosse. And I think that Jared would have been a PLL MVP if he would have stuck with it, but I don't blame him for playing football. And by the way, you can join 3,000 other lacrosse players and join the LAX weekly email newsletter packed with tangible tips on how to become a better lacrosse player. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go subscribe now. Now at number four, we have the biggest family in the sport, the Stanwicks. Starting with the firstborn, Sheehan, who trailblazed a path for her younger sisters at Georgetown. Sheehan was phenomenal as a Hoya, becoming a four-time All-American and finishing her career as one of the best players, if not the best in program history. Sisters Wick and Coco followed in their sister's footsteps, heading to Georgetown and combining for five All-American selections. The first brother to play in college was Tad, who started at four years for Rutgers and was a team captain. Next up for the Stanwyck siblings was the most storied of them all. Steele, who attended Virginia, was an electric attackman that won the 2011 Twarton Award along with a national championship. Steele then went on to have a great career on the Chesapeake Bayhawks as a great dodger and even better shooter. Brothers Wells and Shaq both went to Hopkins, both as great feeders and patient attackmen with a phenomenal feel for the game. Covey was the last sister to play, attending Boston College and was the program leader in points until Sam Mapuzo shattered it in 2019. Overall, the Stanwyck family is not only one of the biggest, but also one of the best in all of lacrosse. It's crazy to think that every single sibling had an amazing college lacrosse career. Then here at number three, we have the Thompson brothers. Considering that Lyle and Miles won a Coach Horton Award and Lyle was the first men's player to ever win it back to back, it is a no-brainer to have them this high on the list. Lyle is arguably the best lacrosse player to ever step foot on planet Earth, displaying a patience and flow for the game that is truly unique. He never looks flustered on the field, always is thinking two steps ahead, and has the creativity to do just about anything you could ever imagine with a lacrosse stick. At Albany, Lyle and Miles were the best duo since the Gate Brothers, who we'll get to later in this list. Connecting on so many B2Bs, backhands, twisters, you name it, they probably did it. Both have had strong careers in the pros, with even Lyle taking home the Eamon McEnany Award for the best PLL attackman this past season. Jeremy and Jerome, the other brothers, have had very successful careers in their own right. And we can't forget about the cousin Ty. All in all, the Thompsons are definitely one of the best families in all of lacrosse, and they have truly cemented their legacy. Top two with number two, we have the Gate Brothers, Gary and Paul. I can't wait to absolutely see the comments for this one. They are absolute legends in the lacrosse world, and Gary and Paul helped change the game completely. They made lacrosse fun, and creativity was rewarded, and kids became amazed at watching the air gate, the move of jumping and dunking the ball over the goalposts. Paul's rocket of a shot and smooth dodges inspired so many to play the sport, and Gary's wizardry with the lacrosse stick was truly unmatched. The two were trailblazers at Syracuse and won three or four national championships, depending on if you count one of them. And following the end of their playing days, the Gates founded Gate Lacrosse, making shafts and heads for men's and women's lacrosse players before getting into the coaching game. You can easily put the Gates as the number one lacrosse family. It's definitely hard to pick. Finally, at number one, our best family in lacrosse, the Powell brothers. Casey, Ryan, and Mikey were each legendary in their own right. The oldest, Casey, chose to go to Syracuse and wear the legendary number 22. Casey was a first-team All-American three times, and he was the first player to become a first-team All-American at two different positions. Casey graduated from Syracuse in 1998, but continued following a professional lacrosse career until 2016, and that's just simply remarkable. Ryan, who followed his older brother to Syracuse, was a four-time All-American and was selected to two Team USAs in 2006 and 2010, respectively. He was the next number 22 after Casey graduated. And lastly, we have Mikey, whose swagger and speed makes him one of the most popular lacrosse players ever. And if you thought Casey's career was incredible, check out Mikey's stats. Mikey was a four-time first team All-American. He won two Team USA World Championships and made the All-World Team. One leg up Casey has on Mikey is that he's had two video games named after him. Casey Powell Lacrosse 16 and Casey Powell Lacrosse 18. Overall, the amount of success and records that the three Powell brothers brought us may simply never be beat. And they, to me, are the clear-cut best family in lacrosse. So what do you think about this list and what video should I make next? I want to know every single one of your hot takes because I know you got some. I'm Jake with Lax Weekly. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time.